For 84-year-old Terry Ledley, riding horses is her passion. I came from New York City, so I couldn't ride as a kid. You'd never see horses in New York City. And I didn't begin riding until my youngest son went off to college. Ledley has been using this equestrian trail near the Patuxent River watershed in Burtonsville for the last 30 years with her beloved Scruffy. But now WSSC wants to ban residents from riding on trails near the Howard Duckett Reservoir. Some of the horse trails have gone very close to the water. There's been erosion and there's been, as a result of that erosion, nutrients gone into the water that we don't want there. This is all about protecting the water. WSSC is allowing residents to travel on fire access roads, which are meant to be used for emergencies. But residents say the company has not properly maintained those roads. We saw it firsthand just how dangerous the path can be. There are maybe 1% of the equestrian trail has a bits of erosion. 99% is great. The fire break, where they want to, after closing the equestrian trail and move the riding to the fire break, that is probably 80% badly eroding. Fire break is unrideable, dangerous. Some of those hills are so steep that I remember when I moved into Barbara's uh, barn, we stood on top of that hill one time and she said, I don't think a horse could walk down here. Now here in Burtonsville alone, there are about 50 families that ride and raise horses. And they're upset with the WSSC because they feel the company really hasn't reached out to them. The community really knew nothing about it. We didn't get no, none of the horse clubs. We have Trot has 600 members, didn't hear one little peep about these changes going on. I've gone back and looked at the minutes from WSSC and I haven't seen anything. Do you feel you've done enough to reach out to these horseback riders? First of all, our chief of staff has met with some of the horseback riders and he said he's open to continued dialogue. We put posted notices in the Gazette newspapers, which reach every home in the two counties. Homeowners say they've been the eyes and ears for WSSC. They've reported fallen trees and other emergencies. And now all they want is a chance to do what they've been doing for more than 100 years. Just ride. In Burtonsville, Sonia Shavasva for CTV News.